Programming made possible by Kentucky American Water. Visit Lex, horse capital of the world. Could our last stop be any further off the beaten path? You'll find First Vineyard and Sugar Creek Resort not far from historic Camp Nelson off a dusty little country road running right up to the Kentucky River. Watch for the signs or you might just end up in it. All right, we're in Jessamine County, Kentucky, not far from Nicholasville. Right down there is the Kentucky River. I mean right down. If you go that way, boom, it's straight down Palisades. And we are here at a pile of rubble. Rubble. I don't know what this rubble is, but I am guessing this guy may know what this rubble is. Basically, this was the uh, the winery. They done open air wineries. Uh, the round part here was where the vat would have been for the preliminary crush, and then the square part back there would have been where the press was, or where they could extract the remainder of the juice out. So this is where the wine actually started happening, right here. This was a winery right behind you. This was you're a saying, winery. You're not just saying that. Nope, that's where it really started happening, right there. First Vineyard basically was actually started in 1799, and it was planted that spring by a fellow of the name of John James of and he was from Switzerland. He understood from the French soldiers who were coming back from the Revolutionary War, there was no winery here. There was no winery to be purchased. It was such a, a land of plentiful things that they couldn't understand that. So he wanted to start an industry. Wow. Now, and, and when you say here, you're not talking about Jessamine County. You're talking about the United, the very new United States, right? That's correct. It was the first commercial venue where there was actually wine produced for sale to the public. Most people don't, I guess, equate Kentucky with being the start of the wine industry. But this, in fact, is where the whole thing started, right here in Jessamine County, Kentucky. The Kentucky River is right behind us, literally over here, dropping down several feet. What role did it play here for First Vineyard? I think it was really important because he went up the uh, Ohio River and the Mississippi River, came down the Kentucky River. And I wondered why in the world did he stay here instead of the Ohio, Mississippi area. Well, then I found out there was a large shipping port called Quantico directly across the, uh, the river there. And it was perfect here because he had the soil, he had the river that created a microclimate, but more importantly, he had a way to put wine on a flat boat take it to New Orleans. Then from New Orleans, you could take it anywhere in the world. We learned about the history. This is the first vineyard in the United States, as well as Kentucky. So that's that seems to bode well for Kentucky, having a solid foundation for producing grapes and wine, but it's not really known for wine that much. What? So what happened? One of the things was that uh, the Civil War, a lot of the farmers were injured, killed, and agriculture just took a real dip. The other thing was prohibition in the 1920s. So you've got an industry that for all practical purposes almost died twice. After prohibition, we still had a lot of antiquated laws on the book. And it wasn't until about 15, 18 years ago that you could even have a small farm wine we do. So I guess we got the events, we have a bed and breakfast. We have a lot of people that come. Maybe they're even doing you know, the wine trail. Sure. They're staying here and then going around the community. Some people are doing the bourbon trail. And because if you're here. drinking wine mm -hmm. and bourbon, it's probably best to go ahead and sleep <laughs> right. where you've had that at a bed and breakfast. So that's a brilliant <laughs> idea right there. Well, we tell people, you, you know. Do you have room tonight? Because it's possible. <laughs> right. We tell people you don't have far to walk. <laughs> right. <laughs> you need to go to the bed. This was lost to history for over 200 years. Right. And we've finally been able to recreate it and let people know about it. So we're hoping that this will help the wine industry, not just us, but the entire wine industry, to know that Kentucky started the wine industry. Oh, absolutely. And what a beautiful place to start it. Thank you. Tom, let's, uh, well, let's walk up been here a pleasure. and yeah. we'll just see, let's see if we put this to practice. All right. We'll, we'll see, see you downstream. downstream.